Okay, this week's uh, quarantini will hopefully not be pulled down by YouTube and not violate the community standards uh, for reasons they've yet to explain to me. But in any event, uh, we'll do this one quick. So this is a, a Pimgria, which is basically a Pim's cup, a modified Pim's cup. So classically, a Pim's cup has has Pim's number one, the the classic English alcohol liqueur. Uh, and now typically what you would do, it, the key ingredients are Pim's, something like a ginger ale or 7-Up, and cucumbers are, are the, the, the central ingredients, um, and a little bit of sugar. Uh, what we're doing here is we're going to substitute ginger beer for the, for the um, otherwise sweet soda. Um, and then we're going to add in uh, some more citrus. And instead of adding in sugar, so we're going to definitely have the cucumbers, but instead of adding in sugar, we're going to add in uh, more fruit. So some strawberries, cherries, peaches, and apples. Um, all this will get mushed up in the bottom of the um, in the bottom of the cocktail shaker with a lot of ice, and that's basically it. Now the other thing that, that classically you'd use these little fingerling English cucumbers, but I prefer these longer cucumbers for a variety of reasons. But primarily because we're going to be putting into these tall glasses, um, and and the short cucumbers just don't seem to do it. So we do that, and then any kind of little garnish you want to top on, throw on top something like a little bit of rosemary or whatever, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so super simple. So the first step, I've just poured three quarters of a cup of Pims in here, and I'm just gonna take uh, my fruit, dice it up, throw it in there, and then I'm gonna muddle it at the bottom. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do two large strawberries. This is, uh, I should also say that in the typical Pims cup, you put a little teeny bit of sugar. So we're not putting any added sugar. So we're just gonna use two strawberries, two cherries, uh, a small, um, a small uh, peach, and then about half or maybe a full of the small apple and then about three inches worth of this cucumber um, a diced up and quartered. All that stuff will be diced and quartered, thrown in here and we'll mush it up. That's step one. Pulpy stuff can go right in. Rigid stuff gets diced up a little bit and then uh, we want to add uh, a th a three tablespoons of Meyer lemon juice at the end to the uh, mixture before we muddle it all together. Next, we're going to come in and just muddle this. So if you have a muddler, that works great. If not, you can just use a wooden spoon. So in here we just have the pins, our lemon juice, and all of our uh, uh, fruits and cucumber, and we're mushing this stuff up. Um, you can also throw a little sprig of mint, which I, which I did. It gives us a little teeny bit of a kick, which is good. And then once that guy's kind of mushed around... We're just going to throw some ice in here. Just shake it down. Ah, my ice is starting to melt. Shake this okay, so we're going to do 20 seconds of shaking. Now, uh, what you typically would do is take this, strain out the liquid, but I like my vegetables, I like my fruits, so I like to just dump the whole thing in there. But we first wanna make sure we don't get too much ice in here. So we're gonna do two cups, this recipe makes two cups, we're gonna do half in here. And half in here. Okay. Mutter and get some of this delicious fruit. It's okay if we get some uh, ice in here because we're going to take ice. And we're going to fill up the rest of the cup with ice. That's about good. That's about good. I'm going over here. Okay, cool. I'm going to put a little more ice in here. Icy, icy. Icy, icy. Icy, icy. Okay. And we'll just come in here and top off the rest with ginger beer. I'm going to crack open one more here. There we go. So then last, all we need to do is a little bit of a uh, garnish. A little bit of giant spear in there. A little bit of rosemary. A little bit of rosemary. A little bit of strawberry on here. And a little bit of lemon. And a little bit of strawberry. And a little bit of lemon. And you are good for your pingria. Mm. Delicioso. All right, everybody. Have a good quarantini. Hope this video stays on YouTube for more than five minutes.